guys welcome back to my channel it is solace lifestyle if you are not subscribed please kind of too it's gonna be around somewhere don't forget to like share and drop your comments let me know what you guys think but today i will be installing a closure wig on my hair this wig is so precious to me i really really love it the color itself check this anyway so without further ado let us dive into today's video this is the wig I will be working on for the install. Right? So as you can see, there's a lot of like flyaways and stuff like that. You know, so we're gonna get it together. Firstly, I'm using this uh hair wax. It's almost done, but I have already I have a new one that's not a problem. So what I do is just pretty much put the hair wax on it and I go in with my Hot comb and I just press it on it. You guys can tell the difference, like it works like magic. And sometimes if I try the air wax and it's not still like getting the flyaways away the way I want, what I do is just go with the air spray, spray some on it and it works. So now as you can tell it's already giving it the fine parting and you can see I was looking like also I always put my flat iron on the highest this time which is the 20 right there I always go for the otters closure I'm not gonna lie it's actually the like fastest wig installation for me personally and I feel like everybody can relate because you don't have to do the ballpark method and all of those stuff you just like you know you only need a tiny space to put the glue and everything like that and you're good to go compared to front row you're doing so much you're waiting for it to dry off and all of those stuff like that so there's a huge difference okay. all right guys so i'm gonna start the installation so i already have my um we cap on so instead of doing it all the way around i'm just gonna do the glue a little bit so i oiled my hair and everything like that i already brushed it up a little bit so i am going with this uh wand uh, glue so which is what i'll be using so right now i just have to put some glue on my hair so I'll be doing this step three times. So okay, so now that my glue is already uh, dried up, so it gets so sticky. That's all I need now. The wig is ready. As you can see, like this is I'm so proud of the wig. Anyways. All I have to do now is just take out the wig. Right now, I just have to wear it. Struggle is real. Anyways, let me take this away. Oh my god. Yeah. So, right now, I'm just gonna lay it down. So I always go with two wait to uh what's it called to put my band in also let me come this away first mix and tell I'm going first and I'm going with the second band I usually just leave it for maybe 10 or 15 minutes because the wig itself is already perfect. So it's in the tail, see it at the back. When I tell you this week, 
I love it. I mean, I love it. So like I said, I just leave it for 10, 15 minutes. I will see how it goes. And if I feel like maybe it's not laid properly or I've seen some laces or whatever, I usually go with this um, Ebim uh, Melt and Spray. This is really good. So I just put it on it and just let it sit. It came for like 10, 15 minutes. And after that, guys, bring it up. Like I told you, easy peasy. It is so easy. But then I feel like at that point, the only hard part is maybe you want to stop, maybe you want to pause, you want to put some pause in it or whatever you want to do, it's up to you at that point. But me, I'm a very, very middle part person. So now, let's just wait. I'll be back and I will show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so it is 10 minutes now and I'm going to take it off so we can see if it's good or not. Oh my god, that was perfect, perfect, oh my god, this is so good, this is what I love doing, uh, also called closure, and especially this week, it makes it so perfect, like you can see how, sorry, how flat it is, also this is the, um, what's it called? Is protector I use so which is what I use earlier so I'm just gonna spray it a little bit because I'm gonna do some stuff and I will use a little bit of this uh, air wax as well and of course the old school so oops at this point I really don't need the melting spray because the air is already melted at this point. And also, since I'm going to bed and I'm still going to be wearing the band, it's just gonna even like melt more. So I don't think I need it at this point for today. This is so good, I'm not gonna lie guys. I am so happy of the outcome. Oh, I dropped my brush. So, I, if you guys can tell, I didn't do any baby hair because the wig, like the color blends so much with my skin and I feel like it won't really show, it won't really pop up. So I'm like, there's no point of doing baby hair because it blends so perfectly with my skin like you can barely see the lace it has to be like you have to be like come in but normally it is so good i am so happy for this installation like i didn't need to do too much compared to doing the whole front and it takes forever anyways this is the final outcome do you guys think um Probably if I'm busy, this is what I do. I just go with my egg band and I use this uh, clip and I just do this and then leave it like this. So, this way, I always, if I don't want it to be in my face, I do this style. So, all right, this is the final product, just like I said. What do you guys think? Let me know if this video was helpful to you and I will see. Um, and actually also, I will be putting the description about the wig. I can't really remember because it's been a while since I bought the wig, so I'll just put it on the screen or put it in the tie to one of this, one of those. I'll just put it somewhere so you guys can see. And I got the wig from AliExpress as well, so just keep that in mind. It wasn't that expensive, it was very affordable, I'm not gonna lie. And it's, Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. So, thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one.